Hey, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our Crusader Kings 3 uh, Chronicle, where we are going for the Emerald Isle achievement. We're close, too. We're very close. We need to take Leinster, and we need to save up 500 gold. So I'm fabricating on Leinster right now. Um, it looks like I can set my military commander to train commanders. And that should be good to go for us. Okay, our son, let me get my timer started. There we go. Our son died of cancer. And so now our heir is this monstrosity. I mean, our grandson, uh, Menach Mac Brian Brienne. And he is already married, but he does not have children yet. So that's bad. Oh, and he's a drunkard. Uh, that's not good either. This is kind of terrible. Our best hope is to be able to change the succession law. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully we can form the Kingdom of Ireland before he takes over. Our hook has expired. We're at 27 gold. Aiming for 500. How many troops can we call up now? We have successfully swayed our mayor, which means that we can start working on... Everybody's opinion has jumped up. Oh, we have a new bishop. Let's begin swaying him. Because uh, Proincias has died. What are your skills? Which of your skills dictates how well you do at this? Oh, nothing. It's just simply a time period, I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't quite know how all that works. We're not too worried about it. Okay. Uh, we're now at 65 gold. I don't want to spend money on anything else. 500 gold is a little ways away. A little ways away. Um, inheritance. Oh, we've inherited a county. We're now at 6 of 6. I'm glad that I took stewardship focus. That's what allows us to be at 6 of 6 instead of 6 of 5. So Olav passed away from wounds. And we have now inherited uh, Ormond. And that's really good for us because that gives us control over this entire duchy. We have personal control over every county in this duchy. We have personal control over this duchy right here. And that'll be what we would call the crownlands from now on. Oh, yeah. Empty council position. Uh, we have an 11 here. And he's not employed, so that works out well. We're already up to 193 gold. That seemed like it went pretty fast. Uh, we can convert a county. Yeah, but I'm trying to get this. We can increase an opinion. You're a good spy master. Alliance formed. What? Oh, because she's now a ruler. And you... Oh, wow. Oh, you're the Duchess of Burgundy? Holy smokes! I want this guy to be our heir. How do we do this? How do we... We would have to murder everybody. No, we have to murder your older brother. Okay, well, we can't do that. We are gallant. <laughs> but we can privately root for his death. He He's not a healthy man. Never has been. He's got a black eye stumbling out of some bar somewhere probably uh okay 
okay, your younger brother must inherit, must inherit, because then their heir would inherit the kingdom of Ireland and the duchy of Burgundy, which is pretty powerful, and I suspect has more de jour areas, and then we would eventually take Scotland, and we would take Gwynedd and the world. <laughs> <laughs> you can the the gears are grinding for uh Mercad. Okay. Oh, a faction has been created against us. Oh, it's a peasant faction. They're no threat. We will crush them. Alright, Olav died. Alliance formed with Ermengarde. That's very good. If we can just find a way. Oh, we've been called to war. Who are you fighting? Your enemy is uh, this guy. He has a claim on the entire kingdom of France. And this guy Her ally is a countess who has 374 troops. She has 1,200. He has 325, and he has three. Join Liberty War as a defender. Oh, so he is her vassal, and he wants to secede. Au contraire, Masul. Did I say that right? I don't think I said that right. Missoul. Um. We accept. Raise the armies. Thirty-three hundred strong. We will attack from this angle. Okay. Wish us luck, wife. Petty Queen Denise gets pregnant right before we set off for foreign lands. Uh, oh, we gained... Uh, we will go ahead and take that claim. So we're at 69 gold. And I guess I will... Convert a county, probably Dublin. Okay, so he's working on that. Okay, here we go. Oh, victory. Okay. Well, I brought my troops over here for nothing. I hope we didn't upset her, because... Oh, that's my rally point there. I probably need to make Dublin my rally point here pretty soon. Is she upset with me? Does that count as me not honoring my obligation? Temperate, personal diplomacy, distinguished. She didn't have an issue with it. Kathmel is swayed. Okay, good. He's at plus 53 now. Uh... It looks like our eldest had three kids. You're 12. Oh, snap, you're not being mentored by anybody. That's really bad. Oh, my goodness. Same with you. You kids are doing pretty good for being completely left on your own. How old are you now? 
Doesn't matter. We'll look at that in a minute. He's 14 years old. He seems to be doing good at diplomacy. Calm. What's this? Curious. Gregarious and compassionate. Education and diplomacy. Okay. And your brother, who is deceitful, fickle. Well, it seems like he should be trained in intrigue, which might not be the smartest thing. He already has that focus, okay. But it is where his talents lie. All right. So these two brothers are kind of opposites. Sh shared abilities, but employed in two different ways. Okay. What's my learning like? And it's a six. That's all right. I like the role play aspect I, that I explained a few videos ago about the parents. Family. Um, direct family members. And I guess the lord of the house, that would be his, one of his primary jobs. Once we are king of Ireland, I may take a different stance. Why is this flashing purple? Oh. Let me disband these. Okay. And our chancellor failed to handle vassals. Sigyard comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. And uh, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards careful planning, such as Sigyard, can come to truly understand its uses. Now it is harder to say. However, everything that is tasked of him is done by others before he gets to it, and he never tells petty lies the way he used to. Perhaps he was not as clever as he seemed after all. Well, he became an elusive shadow. That's pretty clever. Sigyard has excelled as a master of intrigue, and the shroud of secrecy around him is second to none. Okay. Uh, you are a son. Yes, and he's a knight. So, uh, again, we will, because we're, we don't stand to get good alliances from this, we will go with uh, some of all skills, and we will look for a young lady. We don't really care about her heritage. Mm. 23. 22. I might scan back up to those. 14 years old. She's Norman. Another 22. Gosh. Kind of deep into the bench here. There we go. 10, 5, 6, 13, 3. Marcella. And they accept. And if you notice, we keep climbing in how much income we're making per month. I'm not exactly sure why. I kind of assume we're getting better opinions. Does she look like she's crying? Oh, tired yet blissful. Denise presents me with a perfect little daughter. Magdalena. Lingering resentment. Kawanu has been harboring a secret affection for Anna for some time. However, when he finally confessed his feelings, Anna responded harshly. Uh-oh. 
Now Kawanu mutters whenever she passes by. Hey, look, man, you gotta be able to get over things like this. Oh man, no, he retains vengeful. I'm not gonna spend the stress to change that. You're vengeful. Alright. We can increase opinion on this guy. And we should. Uh-oh, time for treatment for our gout. She looks distraught. Do no more than what is necessary. And we got reduced disease cinemas, uh, symptoms. The enema turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Okay. And we can declare war. And we probably should. And I don't want to do it yet. Wait, yeah. I'm not a king. I can hold as many duchy titles as I want. That's right. Okay, we will do it. Leinster. Who has no allies. 1254. I've got 3,000 something. Yeah, 3,400. How do I make a... This should be the rally point. Realm capital, rename title. Um, culture is Norwegian, faith is Catholicism. Punished poachers. Is it under military, maybe? Rally point. Click to add a new rally point. Oh, we have two rally points now. Click to select. Um, get out of that. Unpause. I want to look and see if I can still raise as many troops. Okay, I can. Alrighty then. Leinster. Leinster, you're in trouble. Vastly inferior. We have declared war. We will raise all armies. We have 12 and a half minutes left in this game. Now they've got 1237. Can we cut them off? Okay, we caught, we got that group. I don't know where he got these guys. They're a war band. He must have hired them. Okay, we beat them down. Time to come get the war band. And we caught him. We're at a 15% war score. That one cost us a little bit. They made us bleed there. Okay. Where am I at? Okay. All right, we're up to 45% war score. We still have 3,400 troops, so we're easily winning these fights now. 
Yes, they combine their forces, so we'll beat them both down. Wars are expensive, and with my treasury rapidly depleting, I need to think about how I will pay to keep my soldiers on the field of battle. Things will work out in the end, they always do. Uh, <laughs> cut non-essential. Military expenditures. Oh, this is a stewardship thing. Twenty percent you get undersupplied armies, or seventy-nine percent we get efficiently supplied armies. Let's roll the dice on this. Oh, we got undersupplied. All right. It's another beat down. We're at a plus 50%. All right. I think if we hit them maybe one more time, I might, I might be able to afford to siege them down. Okay, and we're going to follow, so we might end up fighting them one more time. No. Actually, we want to go here. Insular exalta Exaltation, a truly blessed soul, Bishop Kathmal has become a true example of insular kindness, leading his flock with a gentle hand, always ready to listen, and help the less fortunate souls coming to him for guidance. How commendable. All right, so there's five months left. That's a pretty quick siege. That's because of our talent abilities. Education at an end. My ward, Kathmail, has come of age, and it is time he left my care. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Kathmail the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts have come to naught, however. The practices of politeness and honor are quite the challenge for him, but at least he knows his way around basic etiquettes. He's a naive appeaser. He still has a good diplomacy score. Until we meet again. And they are now married. So he is in Burgundy as the Duke. And their child will be the Duke of Burgundy. And if with any luck at all, the King of Ireland as well. But, oh, they had a kid. Nope. It, it will not be, guys. It will not be. We will just, we will have an ally. We will have a family ally in Burgundy. But the line of succession continues through this guy. Oh, well. Alliance expired with Conrad von Luxembourg because he died of internal injuries. Enemy combatants have been captured and the mayor has been swayed. And we are looking at five months of siege work. They have 588 troops, so they're still able to siege... But at just four months left, I believe we can beat them in any kind of race that there is. Let's find out. Yeah, they got six months. Oh, what does that ladder mean? Oh, they have siege weapons. And, uh... Ermeltrude is pregnant. Yeah, I do not have any siege weapons. Oh, yes, I do, apparently. Yes, I do. Okay. Two months left. All 
Maria comes of age, time for you to get married. Who can we marry you to? Peasant revolt? No, that's not going to happen. County of Brno, County of Brno. County, peasant. How about Strather? Oh, 62. Come on, man. Gwened? Ah, eh, 51, but it does rekindle the alliance with Gwened, which I like the idea of. Oh, he's our brother-in-law. That would be her uncle. Yo, I can't do it, man. No. I don't want to marry to him. Oh, man. Another brother-in-law. I don't know, guys. Uh, Alliance Power. The Duchy of... Well, four years old, though. Petty Kingdom of Brittany. Conan de Chene. That is tempting. Let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. Send proposal. They'll be betrothed. She's got five years that she has to wait. Alliance formed. Okay. And we have 30 days left. Fifteen. Five days. That should be it. 100%. Okay, so I will now go up here to uh, prisoners. Um, she is the lady? I don't know. Nobody will ransom her. I guess she's not the lady. Is he the heir? Ten gold. Fifty gold. Ransom accepted. Uh-oh. Enemy ally joins war. Am I still at 100%? Yeah. And I guess I ransomed another somebody else that I didn't mean to. So anyway, we will uh, enforce demands. Munster should be ours now. It is. I'm at seven of six, so I need to give some titles up. Uh, let's disband our army. Okay. And uh, I will give Leinster to our eldest. Well, our eldest grandson. Grant. Select titles to grant. Under partition realm, or under partition, your realm heir cannot be given a title he does not stand to inherit. Well, he stands to inherit all of them. Huh.
Oh, he has a claim. Also has a claim. What do I do about this? Well, what I want to do is I want to take the person that has the lowest claim. Well, let's see. It would, uh, there's, there's my timer. Perhaps instead of going to my direct sons, I need to stay with this line right here. Now he has already, he's going to, his kid's going to inherit the Duchy of Burgundy. So if I give him titles up here, those would eventually go to Burgundy. They would leave our realm. So I don't want to do that, but I could, he's 14 years old and I could, um, what does this mean? Possessed. Yikes. Sum of all skills again, 30 years old, 43, 45, 44. 36, 41, just kind of scan through. We're looking for very young, actually. Oh, well, here's a 15-year-old. She's a Norman girl. We'll send that proposal. We have an available perk. Where I... Do I want to go down the administrator tree? It's between these two right here. Um, hmm. This helps us build our properties up. This one helps us manage our vassals. And my instinct is to initially, when we're in an age of expansion, manage the vassals. We're gaining new vassals. Or we're having to cede land over to new to people who will become new vassals. Yeah, let's go with this. You can claim throne against your liege. Well, that's not going to do us any good right off the bat, but we'll take that anyway. Okay. And I've already sent off the request for him. So this says, above domain limit. You're one holding above your domain limit. Okay. Let's, uh, let's unpause it. Okay, they are now betrothed. And I believe I can now give him... Leinster. Yeah. Okay, grant grant the title. I hope I did the right thing there. I'm not positive. Titles can be created. We can create the Kingdom of Ireland, but we're 500 gold short. Well, like 400. So that's going to be the next step. That's going to be in the next episode, probably. We can change Kiwanu's contract because we have a hook on him. Weak hook. You will deliver high levies. Yeah, that's going to be more in keeping with my long-term plan. I eventually want to move everybody down to low taxes. I don't like the idea of high taxes. I want to trust my people to use the money they have in their pockets to sew into their own. I I've tried that before in CK2, and it worked beautifully. 
but I will require a heavy levy contribution. What is this? Vassal cannot have any succession law below, beyond partition. Council rights. The demand council position interaction can be used at will. No, we will go with... This is an act of tyranny. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, use hook. There. Okay, now because we're using a hook, we are going to gain a neg 15 opinion penalty with him, but we'll make that up over time. He's part of our dynasty. And it looks like we will gain an additional 57 troops from him. We will modify that. We are now fourth in line to inherit the Earldom of Leinster, I guess. Yeah, that's where we're at. Okay. Okay, there we go, guys. So let's go ahead and end this episode then. Uh, again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thanks for coming by the channel. If you like this game and you want to see, well, not just if you like this game, if you like watching me play this game and you want to see it more often in the future, uh, please leave a like. That is how I'm making my judgments on these kinds of things now, or at least I'm attempting that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.